Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to understand AAA Authentication and Authorization Configuration. Authentication and Authorization Configuration. So you can see this is my topology. In my topology, I have three daughters, daughter one, daughter two, and daughter three. I have already configured IP addresses on daughter and routing protocol for the reachability, right? So there is reachability between these all routers and you can see the configuration what we are going to configure in this video so see guys enable triple a authentication and authorization on r2 for telnet session so we need to configure triple a authentication and authorization on router number two after that we need to create two users over here first username is praful and second username is uh, current so you can see per full should get privilege level 15 and current should get privilege level what 5 so this is what this is authorization right first we will configure authentication part then we will see the authorization part configuration so let me access the devices so here you can see i have router 1 router 2 router 3 on router number 2 i need to configure authentication and authorization so let me take you to r2 directly on r2 as you know first of all to configure triple a we need to enable triple a on router by default it is disabled how we can verify it we can verify it by running command do so run and section let's say triple a so you can see no triple a new model this command is enabled by default right so to enable triple a as you know in last video also we discussed the you know basic parts about triple a so to enable triple a you need to run this command triple a new model after that triple a i'm going to use this triple a first i'm going to create triple a for authentication so here what, what i will say authentication otherwise if you will put question mark over here so you can see there are lots of option but mainly you need to focus on three options right either i can create triple a for authentication or i can create it for actually i am creating list right i am creating what list guys you know let me hold it let me hold this configuration and let me ask you one question here i have only enabled triple a on this server do so run section triple a here i have only enabled triple a i have run only this command triple a new model over here so now if someone will access this router r2 through telnet will user authenticate via you know triple a what is your answer and what will be the list then because we have not created any list here and in last video of triple a as i told you that for triple a configuration either you are configuring triple a for authentication authorization and accounting for each you have to create what list you have to create list but here i have not configured any list till now so if i will access r2 through telnet so see telnet and 12.1.1.2 so yes authentication is required right that means r2 on r2 authentication is enabled then how r2 is going to authenticate the user how r2 is going to authenticate the user because we have not defined list on router number two so guys let me do one thing on router number two i am going to debug triple a authentication over here triple a authentication right and now if again i will you know access this order through telnet from router number one see what will happen telnet 12.1.1.2 it's asking for username and let me take you to r2 here you can see the log message what is saying triple a authentication login picked method which method it have picked permanent local right so actually we have three method right we have three method for the list one is default one is custom and the you know third one is permanent so if we have not defined any list right for authentication it will use permanent local method right sometime interview is asking this question that's why i have mentioned it so on order number two i am going to create list over here because now i don't have any user as well here and you can see i am not able to access r2 through telnet right because i don't have any user over here i'm going to create one list for authentication first so i will run what command triple a authentication and after that default sorry login and then uh, we will use default keyword here right it will automatically apply it on all the lines and then what i am going to say here let's say local so it will check local database fine now now 
I have created the list for authentication, right? Now here I can create one user. And before creating user, what I am going to show you here on uh, this router. Again, I am going to tailnet R2 from R1. And this time you can see the log message over here, right? Triple A authentication login method is what this time default because here I have created the list and the list in the list I have defined the method right that which method it need it will use fine so this is triple A authentication configuration now I am going to configure a list for authorization before that let me do one thing here in line VTY 0 to 4 I am going to say what transport input telnet only and uh, then here I don't need to you know run this command login authentication and after that uh, default right because by default if you are using uh, keyword default in the list it will automatically apply on all the line VTY all on all the line so do so run here we can verify it as well section line VTY so you can see login command is removed from here right from this line interface fine guys so this is what this is authentication configuration, triple A authentication configuration. Now what I need to do, I need to create here a user. So let me do one thing here. I am going to first create user and you know, I can, uh, I can call to, let's say as I show you here, two method, one is permanent, another one is default. And let me do one thing, let me use third method as well. As well. Let me remove this command, let me use custom uh, custom method as well here so say no over here and then I can say what triple A again triple A for authentication home login and here I am I am going to define one name right so if you will put question mark here you can see you have two options one you can define name another one is default so default means if you will use this keyword default keyword automatically triple A authentication will apply it on all the line if you will use name then manually you have to apply it right so let me say here what VTY is my name and then I am going to say what local right so now if someone will try to access this order through tail net wall with what will happen it will authenticate through local sorry through this VTY right method so again I am going to run tail net command and let me take you to R2 and here you can see the log message it's saying what it's saying permanent local why permanent local see even if you have created the list but you have not apply it in the line vty so that's why it is using which default method permanent local right so actually i need to run this command here line vty 04 and here i am going to say login because if you are using custom method then manually you have to apply it on lines so login authentication and then i can say vty is the name right and again i am going to tell it R2 from router number one. Let me run this command telnet 12.1.1.2 and see the log message this time, right? Triple A authentication login pick method is VTY, right? Which we which we specify in the list, right? So hope it is clear to you. This is uh, you know part of authentication. Now let me move to authorization part. So here I'm going to create one user. Say username is Praful. Praful and then give privilege level what to this user. 15 and uh, after that what I can say password so let's say password is Cisco 123 right I need to create one more user here user current and let me give privilege level 5 to this user and password is let's say CCNA 123 right now again I am going to access router 2 through telnet it's asking for password and here you can see on router number 2 method is VTY means custom method and I am going to provide what username username is Praful and password is what Cisco 123 so you can see my privilege level is not 15 my privilege level is what so privilege 1 right so actually why it's not working because because we have not created any list for authorization so I need to create one list for authorization as well here so say triple A triple A this time authorization authorization and then here you know for now just use this mode only exact mode right guys in real time we will we are using this mode also network we are using command also right it will be 
pre-configured, already configured in the network, right? If you are joining a company, you don't need to configure these things. These things will be already configured in the company. This is uh, completely real-time scenario. And in real time, it, uh, you know, all companies, a small company, big company, all companies are using AAA, right? So here, for now, I am going to use what? This mode, exact mode, right? For now, you can, uh, you know, say exact method is used to bind privilege label, right? Exact method, this method is used to bind privilege label. So that's why I have used this, right? And then I, I'm going to say what same thing that after that default, which method you want to use and then database like local, right? Local. And now if someone will access or Praful will access R2 through telnet, see what will happen. It will get what privilege level. Now again, telnet 12.1.1.2 username, Praful, password, Cisco 123. Now you can see my privilege level is 15 over here. So privilege 15, right? If current will log in, telnet 12.2. Karan, username Karan, password CCNA123. So Karan have got what privilege level? So privilege, it have got privilege level what? 5 over here. So this is how you can configure authorization. Okay. So guys, one of my paid student has requested me to make one video on AAA authorization configuration. That's why I have did it. Now, if you have any question or you want any more configuration on AAA, please let me know in the comment section. That's all for today. Bye-bye guys. Thanks for watching. We will meet soon in next video. Till then, stay safe.